Hi, I'm Olivia Wayne and I'm here with Three More Inches brand director Michael Van Clark. Now, today we're going to discuss a topic that comes up all the time uh, amongst my peers and family, which is how to achieve thicker looking hair. A lot of people suffer from limp, um, thin, fine hair and struggle, I guess, to style it and make it a style that lasts. They always complain that the curl falls out. So what is your advice? Well, um, first of all, I think deal with the misconceptions about getting thicker hair. And um, most people, when they want thicker hair, uh, are thinking it's all something to do with what's going on under the scalp and their, their metabolism. Um, and genetics obviously play, play a huge part. But in terms of the gains that you can make, for most people that have a, a decent, healthy lifestyle, the hair that comes out at the scalp is pretty much the best it's going to be. Um, yes, there are phases in your life that where it will go up and down, more hair will fall than usual, it will come back. Often they're linked to hormonal fluctuations. But generally speaking, you know, if you have a reasonably healthy lifestyle, as it comes out of the root, that's the best it will be. So where do we look to gain more hair? The, the, the biggest difference is to do with how quickly the hair is aging. And if we look at this um, chart here, the life cycle of the hair as it leaves the scalp is to be full and complete with the cuticle laying flat. And as it ages, the protein structure breaks down as it dehydrates, protein molecules leach, leach away, they're washed down the sink, and the hair becomes more brittle less able to bend, the cuticle lifts more, making the hair feel rougher and frizzy. And at this stage, the hair is much more likely to snap or to split. So the, the, the biggest thing that will make a difference is actually maintaining more of the thickness of the hair shaft. So if we look at a, a hair shaft that's more protected, there is some degrading of the hair shaft over time, there it's will be. Shot, yeah but much, much less. The difference at the ends of the hair compared to the root are, are far less. So, you know, this is 100% better anyway, just from that. So minimizing the aging of the hair shaft is really important. Minimizing the amount of damage you do to the hair, putting the hair under too much pressure. So especially if the hair is becoming less flexible and more brittle, it's less able to return mm. to its normal state if you're brushing severely or styling severely. This, that's where hair snaps and it will start to, to snap off. And is that the same with tying it up too tightly with too yeah, coarse so hair, you, everything like You that. tie it up too tightly with too thin a band, mm -hmm. which again will exert more pressure per square millimetre onto the hair shaft, more likely to, for the hair to snap. So all of those things, if the hair is in very good condition, where it's supple and flexible, it will move around, you can play with it, it goes under pressure, it goes, goes back mm. to normal. When you're talking about fine hair, is this each individual hair molecule, molecule that is fine, or is it just the sheer volume of hair? Well, I think it can mean both, and it's really people's interpretation. Some people say fine hair, meaning the hair shaft is thinner and silky. Mm -hmm. Um, and other people, when they say you fine hair, mean they have less of it, right. you know, less hairs on their scalp. So it's really people's interpretation. Let's start with thicker, quicker. Um, it's a blow dry spray. It's fantastic. Talk us through it. So thicker, quicker is an amazing product and uh, it's a very naturally based product as well. And again, you know, we wanted to create something which would give people much more volume, but still feel like natural healthy hair. Because there are lots of things on the market that can make your hair thicker and bigger, but most of them will make the hair feel quite horrible. Mm. You know, brittle, sticky, claggy, not like natural hair. So, you know, for us, for all of our products, it's about the hair feeling like great healthy hair. And if it can't do that, then we have to go back and rethink. So this is a very natural way of thickening up the hair shaft and works very well when applied to the roots of the hair. Okay. So this is more for the hair where it's silky smooth. 
So not really on the ends of the hair, which are drier, uh, more open cuticle. So this is where the hair is slippery and silky. This will texturize the surface, make the hair take up a bit more space and actually give it more flexibility and, and bend to actually to do more. So you can actually make the hair do more. And so when would you apply that in the drying process? So this is easier if it's applied on wet hair. Okay. Very wet or towel dried damp? I, I think towel dry damp a little okay. and then take one inch sections and spray a little into the section. You know, and always think less is more yes. with all of the products. They're all professional strength. So you can always add more if you need to, um, but you shouldn't have to use too much product. One inch section, spray into the sections and then comb everything through. And that's important in order to spread the product evenly across every hair. Yeah. And with all products, that's really what you're, you're aiming to do. You don't want you know, one section to have all of the product and then nothing next to it. And so that's why it's easier on wet hair. You spray it up top. On the roots. On the roots, yeah. and, but still brush it through the whole hair. Yeah, you can brush it through, yes. but it's mainly around that first few inches okay. that you want to encourage lift and thickness um, of, of the smooth hair shaft. So you apply that onto your wet hair, then what? What's and then you comb the it through yeah. and then you will style your hair as you want. Right, okay. you know, and some people find that they can put it on to dry hair you know, and, and some professionals might add some to dry hair. But it's a little bit more difficult and needs a little bit more skill because, again, it's about the spread of the mm -hmm. product. On damp hair, it's much easier to put it evenly and spread it through. On dry hair, you need a bit more skill. Okay. So, so we recommend on wet hair. They've applied it thicker, quicker spray. Yeah. Then what comes next? Well, for, for, for many people, whether their hair needs a boost because it's fine or it needs smoothing because it's a little bit coarse, mm -hmm. this is an amazing product and uh, it's a mousse, a volumizing mousse. And mousses aren't an 80s product that's only to do with the perms yeah. and scrunches. <laughs> um, it, it's funny actually because uh, I remember being in America when we launched this product and um, as I landed, within a day, one of the top magazines had brought out a seven page article on mousse. And what it was saying is what I've always said is that the professionals never stop using mousse. It's an amazing product. But a lay person has an association that mousse With is a certain style. Crunchy, right. crispy, rock hard. Yeah. 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 Okay, so how do you use mousse whereby you're not going to have crunchy, crispy hair? Well, the product is very important. This right. will not leave the hair brittle or crunchy. Okay. You know, and that's, that's key. But also, you, know, you wouldn't use football size amounts of mousse, which I have actually seen hairdressers use, which horrifies me. <laughs> Um, you, know, you would use an egg size or two, depending okay. on the thickness and length of hair. What's great about this product is that it will smooth and thicken. So it actually works across a range of finer hair to coarser hair. Um, so it smooths and thickens, but it doesn't feel heavy and kind of no, stick together. No, but generally speaking, not on everyone, but generally we'd, we'd keep this on the mid length and the ends. Okay. So generally, because it has these smoothing conditioners in as well, we would put it on the hair that's a little bit rougher. Okay. So that hair in the middle and the ends where the cuticle started to open up, um, we would use the mousse. And combined with this, it's like a double whammy yes. of thickness. And it's what it's really doing is evening out the hair textures. So on the silky smooth hair at the roots, this will give texture. And on the more textured natural hair towards the ends, this would smooth. This is really highlighting how what you use and how you use it. Because yeah. not dumping all of these on all your hair, that is not the way. It's really tar targeted. Yes. Your hair is different all over your head. So it's targeted hair care when you're styling. Okay, so we all love a salon blow dry, don't yeah. we? Um, the bounce, the volume, how do you achieve that at home then? Well, uh, uh, what we find and um, where people have discovered our products, they found that their hair is easier to manage because it restores some of the natural moisture and body to their hair. Hair that's too dehydrated will not style easily. It will not hold a bend. So you can force a bend into it with enough heat, which people do, which again isn't a great thing. Um, but it also then won't last very long. Mm. 
So if the hair is that dehydrated, you really have to rethink your whole approach to the hair. And products like the Lifesaver UV that we spoke about are very good at injecting moisture back and actually people are surprised at how their hair is a easier to style, but also lasts much better. Holds it, I've yeah, seen it that, holds absolutely. It. Yeah. So for fine hair though, mm -hmm. to get that root lift, if you use these two products correctly, yes. and then blow dry as you would, you should achieve a more salon-like blow dry, would you Yeah, it would, it would certainly help. Yeah. And then there are techniques of how you would use your brush, how would you prepare the hair, you know, things that we have on our website. We have a lot of tutorials, mm. you know, that are designed both for professionals and for the consumer, which will really help them in their journey of looking after their hair better. Okay, so your hair is dried. How do you finish it off? How do you give it that kind of cherry on top? Yeah, so, you know, all the things we've said, you know, you could have started with your treatment, you know, good shampoo, conditioner, you've used some styling products, you finish your, your style. You know, there's a little bit more you can do as well to give even more finish. And two of the products we have that are brilliant for this are um, Magic Oil here. And this is a, a silicon-free oil, which is very unusual because most of the oils and serums are, are, are very dependent on mm. high concentrations of silicon. So this is 100% natural and a very, very effective product at smoothing and relaxing the hair. So Even if you've styled and curled and tongs, it won't pull it out? No, wow. and you use very little. Yes. So um, for styling, we recommend putting three or four drops on before it's blow dried, okay. which will actually help the blow dry. And then you can put three or four drops on the dry hair at the end as a finish. And mainly at the ends again? Main, mainly, it, it, you know, because it's a, a, a moisturising product, it's unlikely you'd want it right on the scalp area. Right. So again, mid lengths and ends generally. Okay. And to achieve that a sleek look. And this will be, be for, for sleek. Okay. This adds no body whatsoever to the hair. It's all about relaxing, smooth, loose, swinging, frizz free hair. Beautiful. Okay. And then alternatively, what's in this gorgeous little pot? Well, alternatively, oh, you and used this on me earlier. Alternatively and as well. Okay. Because you know, people find that, again, hair's different all over. Mm -hmm. um, you can use both. But this is one that will smooth, but also inject texture and body as well. So with this product, you would use very, very little. We say, imagine a lip balm. Amount, right, it's, how much it, you put It's on that lips? little. Okay and you would just take a few seconds to spread it across one palm and then both palms, your fingers, so that you have a very thin film across both hands and then gently start to feed into the ends of the hair and you will feel it come away. And then as you have less on the hair, you can work up to the mid lengths and then if, if you want through to the, the roots as well. So this gives a bit of texture and hold? This does, this does. So this one will give texture and some hold and it can make finer hair feel thicker and come alive. But also at the same time, thicker hair, it can just smooth and take away that fluffy halo that maybe the blow drying hasn't quite dealt with completely. The one that you're zoning in on me right now. <laughs> well, there we have it. Those are the perfect blow dry products to achieve a salon style that lasts, hopefully, till your next wash. Thank you, Michael. Thank you.